Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning how to generate your reports or how to print your reports. Suppose you want the complete activity list to be printed, or you want the predecessors and successors to be printed, or maybe you want the resource profile to be printed. So whatever you want to get printed, you can just customize your reports and you can print that report. So how to do that? See, to go to the reports wizard, you have two options. What you can do is either you can click on this reports button in the directory bar or you can go to tools and then you can click on this reports wizard okay so when this reports if you click from here it will just direct you to open the new report but if you go to the reports tab from here then it will show you some predefined reports which are available to you so always prefer clicking on this reports tab instead of going to this tools and then reports wizard okay so from here you can just generate your predefined report suppose you want admin categories to be displayed or maybe suppose if you want the resource details to be displayed so what you can do is you can just simply click right click and you can click on run and report so when you click on this okay you will get a print review of all your resources like this is right now showing you for all the projects okay see our project resources are also visible here like it building it pndm dumper excavator concrete pump the default units per time is also being shown similarly other resources are also being shown okay so this is how you can generate a predefined uh, report but suppose if you want to customize re your report then you can go to the commands bar you can click on this plus option you can go to the new report next and suppose you want let us say activity risk you want to be printed we have created some risk no so we will go to next so activity risk we'll click on next columns what all columns you want activity then risk and then project we want if you want to add something else activity risk count you can move it but we don't want so uh, we'll click on okay so if you want to sort it so you can group and sort you can filter also if you want where the risk is less than this or where the suppose where activity is let us say this so we have created risk for this activity so we will click this activity only so filter we have created and we'll click on next we'll click on next and we will run report and we will print preview it okay so you see the risk for your activity of foundation including plinth beam has been displayed and the project name is also visible and the risk is cyclone okay if we would have not created a filter then also it would have shown this only because in the last video we created risk only for this activity so this is how you can customize your report i'll show you one more thing one more report we will create so we will click on this plus new report so this time i think we'll go for let us say we'll go for calendars what all calendars are available in our system okay next we'll click on next we can customize the columns calendar name and default if you want to add the calendar type you can go there then work hours per day if you want work hours per month per week okay we'll click on okay and suppose if you want for some certain activity so you can choose the calendar type you can choose the type of activity okay so we will not put filter this time we'll click on next we will name the report as calendars only we will run report and we will print preview this so you can see all the calendars with their calendar type then default calendar we have chosen as it building calendar so it is telling yes for this work hours per day per month and per week you can also change the page setup from here if you want okay margins then if you want header and footer to change you can modify it from here whatever you want you can choose the option and add variable like suppose if you want date also with this you can add the variable here and you can click on okay similarly you can also change the footer like this and we'll click on okay okay so now the date has shifted from here to here also okay so this is how you can customize also and then you can print setup whenever you will print you can set up for your printer also okay size and all and then you can print also directly from here 
and from right click you can also save as if you want to save it in your system you can name it and you can save it also so this is how we print the reports and save in our system you can generate as many reports as you want and you can use this method to show several numerous reports to your boss you will become very happy with all your reports related to earned value management and all so go ahead and try to generate as many reports as you want thank you everyone